Diddy has dropped some major hints about his not so cool antics over the years. Let's dive in and talk about those jaw dropping moments that were way too obvious and somehow he still got away with it. I think he might have enjoyed the fact that he was telling us out in the open but felt like he was untouchable. Well, I guess he's not since he's now locked up. Let's get to it. Here are some times P. Diddy told on himself and no one realized. Hey yo, what's up y'all? Um, do you guys remember the role Diddy had in the movie Get Him to the Greek where he played Sergio Roma, a power hungry, egomanical executive? People are now noticing that it was way too easy for Diddy to play this role, and the character is way too similar to what some portray is his true personality. He's an unhinged member of the music industry who commits several crimes, many of which are too similar to what he's being accused of now. I mean, come on, play it, lose the paint, man. It's not gangster. For example, there's a moment in Get Him to the Greek in which Roma instructs a random guest to do certain things with Jonah Hill's character Aaron during one of his wild parties. I'm eating my own hair. She's eager to break into the music business, and Aaron is vocally resisting the whole thing. There are other coincidences in this movie that are way too similar to real life, and people suspected that Diddy really enjoyed playing this, as he pretty much just had to play himself. Some would also say that this was Diddy giving us a massive hint to what he actually treated people like in his day-to-day -day life. Okay, so 25 years before Diddy was actually locked up, he joked about being locked up. Diddy made a telling joke about being arrested 25 years before he was actually jailed. In a resurfacing interview from two decades ago, Diddy discussed his infamous white parties, which were attended by A-list celebrities including Jay-Z, Jennifer Lopez, and Leonardo DiCaprio. It affects the alcohol and it also affects like, um, you know, everybody gets a These parties held at his luxurious mansions worldwide reportedly turned into wild, crazy bashes. Speaking in a video about the parties in 1999, Diddy, who is now awaiting trial on charges of various crimes, told a journalist, they won't even give me a permit for the parties. They don't want me to throw parties anymore. But we're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep having fun, bringing people together from all walks of life. They're gonna be shutting them down. They're probably gonna be arresting me, doing all types of crazy things, just because we wanna have a good time. We, we ain't gonna stop, we gonna keep on having fun, bringing people together from all walks of life. In the interview with Entertainment Tonight, Diddy claimed his parties broke down racial and generational barriers. When asked about the popularity of his parties, he commented, I mean, it's cool, it doesn't make me feel any way special, it doesn't make me feel like a bigger person, it just makes me feel like I know how to throw a party. You know, it doesn't make me feel any way special, it doesn't make me feel like a bigger person. Fresh details about Diddy's infamous bashes were disclosed in court, where Diddy was denied bail despite offering a whopping 50 million. Prosecutors read out the 14 page indictment alleging that Diddy led a criminal enterprise. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. Accusations have been leveled at Diddy's team for allegedly organizing these events and ensuring the hotel suite was fully supplied with things to alter your brain, baby oil, lubricant, extra linens, lighting, and apparently he even had IVs for people. Searches of Diddy's properties in LA and Miami turned up bang bangs and over a thousand bottle of lube. I tend to hurt anybody and just going to see him as a human being, as the chairman of the Another wild fact about Diddy that is getting brought to light again would be that when he was dating his on and off again ex Cassie, Kid Cudi was interested in Cassie and he let it be known. Diddy got word of this and it wasn't pretty. In Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy, she stated that Diddy kept talking about blowing up Kid Cudi's car and shortly after that, his car allegedly exploded in the driveway of his residence. This took place in 2012. Diddy wanted to send a message to Kid Cudi and he told Cassie that he wanted to make sure he was home with his friends when it happened. When Kid Cudi was asked about this, he responded with, it's true. Diddy told her that he was gonna blow up Kid Cudi's car. The following year, Diddy dressed up as the Joker, who has an iconic clip blowing up a building and walking away. A lot of people think that Diddy was throwing hints at us that he was in fact the person that blew up Kid Cudi's car, and he likened himself to the Joker. Man, you got a Keep problem? that shit macking, man. You really taking over my energy he right hurt right you. Because Diddy felt so untouchable, he was casually laughing in our faces and doing things to the public to make fun of the fact that he was getting away with so much. His interview with Conan O'Brien was Diddy throwing huge hints at us about who he really was and what he was really doing in his day-to-day -day life. 
An old video of Diddy giving Conan O'Brien advice on how to lock women up at parties has surfaced again, and it's not looking good. When Diddy and the host of Late Night with Conan O'Brien got together in 2002, they discussed Diddy's extravagant parties and details. First to bring up the subject was Conan, who joked that he plays Paul Anka at gatherings and cracks out the cheese whiz, but nobody ever stops by. Confidently speaking, Diddy told Conan he was doing everything wrong before supplying a list of party necessities. In his opening remarks, Diddy stressed the significance of ensnaring beautiful women and beautiful men for the ladies. Women? Beautiful women, of course. <laughs> Diddy added you should have water and drinks because many women drink water at parties and will leave if you don't have it. Then the real deal arrived. Diddy claimed that having locks on the doors was necessary to keep women at his parties. The instant response from Conan was, okay, this is starting to sound not good now. Diddy answered excitedly, it's a little weird. Diddy then talked about keeping his parties hot and causing a sweat. You need, you need locks on the doors? Okay, this Let's... is sounding kind of dangerous now. Another time that Diddy blatantly threw in our face, what he was doing was when him and Justin Bieber were seen in a video together when Justin was just 15 years old. Many people are uneasy after seeing the embarrassing video, which shows Diddy with a very young Justin Bieber. In the video, Diddy is heard stating that Justin Bieber and his friend were having the time of their lives and that Bieber was having 48 hours with Diddy. In the video, Diddy continues where we hang out and what we do in, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. After watching this video with the recent allegations that came out, it definitely turned my stomach. Where we hanging out and what we doing, we disclose a 15 year old's dream. Diddy was heard saying about Bieber, I've been given custody of him. He signed to Usher, but I had legal guardianship of Usher when he did his first album. I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me and we're gonna go full buck, full crazy. Regarding Bieber, he says in the video, instantly, Bieber's naive, youthful face seems to freeze in a forced, uncomfortable smile. He appears clearly uncomfortable as they go on with their conversation. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours. So this one isn't so much Diddy dropping hints to us, but just him openly parading the fact that he was doing unspeakable things. And Diddy questioning Justin Bieber in another video is so strange. The tape shows Justin Bieber seemingly awkward during a conversation with Diddy. Diddy can be heard questioning Justin in the recent release video for not communicating with him as much as he would like. As they shook hands, Justin assured Diddy he's all good, only for him to ask, everything's good? Selling at arenas and everything? The atmosphere shifted when Diddy said, starting to act different, huh? You ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. In the clip, Justin, who was about 16 at the time, fumbled over his words, replying, I mean, you tried to get in contact with me throughout all my projects and whatnot, but you never got my number. Justin then took out his phone and told Diddy, I'm gonna tell you my number. People on social media have been spreading the video saying how uncomfortable they are with the exchange. This is a creepy video, one ex-user said, while another said, Justin seems nervous around him. You, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell you my number. Yeah, yeah. All of these seem like Diddy overtly rubbing in the fact that he was up to some things that he thought he could never get caught for. What did you guys think? Did I miss any hints that he dropped before he got locked up? Let us know in the comments. We read all of them. Thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I'm your host, Jess, and I hope you have a great day.